welcome to TRG Central. Today we'll be previewing the 2021 season set. We'll be knowing that by running the DC <coughs> the TRG World Cup schedule. And as you see, here's the uh, program for the, uh, the schedule. We'll be running in race one, the juvenile. Take a look at the field. You see the race is locked, locked meaning that it's ready to run. We click the lock icon, we'll unlock it, and we can actually edit if we wanted to add or try to or any of that. So we just view the rest of these races. We'll go over a little bit of the conditions book also for each race. As you know, Philly, it's a two-year-old Philly race. It's 8.5 furlong, grade one race, $2 million. Second race is the Juvenile, two-year-old Colts, 8.5 furlong, grade one, $2 million. Take a look at that field. It's locked, ready to go. Third race on the card is the, the Mile, three-year-olds. One mile, great one, two million dollars. View the field. As you see, this race has some of the older horses in the set running. Locked, ready to go. The staff is three year old enough, Philly. Nine for long, great one, two million dollar purse. Take a look at that. Next up is the Philly and Mayor Turf. It's three year old and up Phillies. Nine for long. Great one. Two million dollar per. And I mentioned it is on turf. A few little horses. Next race will be the dirt mile. Three year olds and up. Eight for long. Great one. One million dollar purse. Take a quick look at this race. You see there's a couple five year olds in this one. In race seven, we have the Turf Classic. It's three year olds and up. Mile and a half, 12 furlong. Great one raise. Four million dollar purse. View the field. And final race on the card. TRG down. Classic. Three year old and up Colt. 10 for a long race. Great one, six million dollar purse. And there's the horses other for that race. Okay, since all the races are locked, we're ready to go. We can go ahead and start the races. Go with the first race. And it'll be the uh, Juvenile Phillies. Looks like Echo Zulu is the uh, favorite. Let's view the betting window and we'll wager a few 
Star Wars on the race. As you notice, as soon as you go to the betting window, all the information about the race is finalized. We know post vision changes. The track condition will, will not be able to be changed either. All will be locked and ready to run. Okay, as you can see, we can kind of move this around a little. And see if we can get some, uh, some lasers. Yeah. I'm all set up, so. And we realized that look down here, Echo Zulu is the favorite, so we're gonna play Echo Zulu, post finishing five, with a wager a hundred dollars on him. And that's all we'll do now since we only have five thousand. We'll make sure we have some money for the big time races. And then there is also a daily double today, too. Uh, we'll buy our ticket. And we'll return. Just make sure that you buy the ticket before you leave the vending window, otherwise, it will not be processed. Okay, as you see. You cannot change the post positions or the track conditions anymore. Everything is locked, ready to go. We have our $100 wager on Echo Zulu. <coughs> and we'll just view a couple of the horse cards here. Let's look at Echo Zulu. Echo Zulu won a little over a million dollars with four and four. Four starts, four wins. He's rated a 94 on Turk. Very good rating. Let's you Twilight Gleaming. The Twilight Gleaming. And one on turf, he's going to be running on dirt. She's going to be running on dirt today, she's 89. Okay, so. Slow down the race just a little so we can watch it. We all have the take snapshots on, and we'll also be recording a race to be run later on. Let's take the mode. We can stop it at any one of these particular points of the race. We're just going to go ahead and run the race. And they're off. Right now it's Twilight Gleaming with the lead. And let's see there. Oh my, we have a very close finish, and that's very really interesting to us because we have Echo Zudo, horse number five. So let's see who won the race. And it's quite like steaming ending out Echo Zudo. Oh, so we take a quick look at our betting results. Uh, oh. We didn't win. Okay. That's the first race. As you see, we come right back to the schedule. There's the results. And you can see that it was a very, very close finish. Okay, next up is the TRG down. Shimano. Just click it. 
It's locked, so it's ready to go. Here it looks like. Konichi is the favorite, along with Tins the Bomb and Papa Cap. Let's be the ready window. As we were before, everything is blocked. And we'll try our engine to see we lost a hundred dollars on that last race on a fantastic finish. So, move this around a little bit. Well, let's do tilt the bomb. Always like that horse. And we're gonna just we're gonna do a safe wager. We're gonna go with Tins the Bomb for six. This show for fifty dollars. Just to see if we can get any type of uh, win today. Okay. Take a quick look at this the bomb's car. And you can see this one goes all the way back to Tiz now. I always like that horse. It's a car is very good in the home stretch. Also prefers the turf, but today he'll be running on dirt. And five races, one, three. Placed in one, a little over a half million dollar winnings for the year. Okay, and let's get this race underway. All right, yeah, maybe before that, let's take a look at the other horses here. Have a nice lineup. Let's take a quick look at the favorites. 94. He's also pretty good in the stretch. He won over a million dollars this year. I hold eight. <coughs> 88 rating on third. Has a little problem finishing. Okay, let's go ahead and get this race going. And we're off the nine horse field. Okay, sometimes they have issues with the uh, Auto jockey, and this allows us to switch in a manual mode and give the horse a better shot at, at moving. So we do that. We'll do undo, turn it back up, and do a sideways inside move. And this turn. And then go back to spectator mode and watch the race. So far as Dakota goes out in front, Octane is now taking the lead. Kamochi is now leading. And we're doing the same thing again. Dakota goes had three extra points and he that up right here. Now he gets two bonus points because you'd be drafting behind two other horses. So we're going to go ahead and leave that alone since everybody's all bunched up. And he'll pick up two bonus points 
on his next turn. Go into the home stretch, and it looks like, oh no, it could be either Octane or Jack Christopher. They're both, looks like they're tied. Unfortunately, nothing looks like our horse is going to make us any money again. And then Octane winning Dakota Gold. Jack Christopher was DQ'd and put third. Tens the bomb ended up seventh. Oh. Oh well. Can't win them all. And as you see, we lost again. Okay, that's it for race two. Go on to the third race on the program. DRG Mile. Three year olds and up. Take a quick look at the field again. And since it's locked, we're ready to, to run. This time it looks like smooth like straight is the uh, winning odds favorite. And as you see, you may have noticed at the post position, I put the favorites at the, <coughs> at the uh, outside post position and lined up the, the horses with the larger odds in the closer post positions to the rail. Oh well, let's go ahead and try to see if we can win something. Where did I go? It's been like to stay. We have to do a show. Seven. Look at a hundred. He's gotta come in for a second or a third. Buy the ticket. And I guess we're ready to run. Gotta win one of these races. Be somebody. And put the reader down into the fifteens. Quick look at a couple of horses. Here's our. And still. And then you see this is a turf rate, and he's rated at 89. He's pretty good across the board. Doesn't like very long races as his middle. INT is a three. One over $800,000 for the year. Let's give him a go. And also, you can just hover over any of these. It'll give you a little information about the horse. And if you click on it, you get a regular cards. Shows it a little nicer. So, and let's go ahead and start this race. As usual, you just let the race play out, and they're off. After the first turn, it's in love and first. Uh, it's like Golden Power is taking over the lead. Through this street, at least is second, so we could do some uh, winning this time. The he only has the two, two's behind two. He's good, he'll pick up the two points. Next turn, we'll keep the race going. 
And it looks like it's golden power with the win. And it looks like we finally won some money as soon as straight came and sat down. Did we win any money? Hmm, let's take a look. Yes, we have a winning ticket. We win $225 with the $100 winner. Yay, 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 yay. Oh, again, Golden Powell is the winner. He would have paid off 920. One of a million dollars. Move on to the next race. Hey, we're now on the tell you down the staff. Quick look at the horses. And this lock, so let's go ahead. Oh, we'll take a quick look at the results here before we go on to the next race. Golden Pile is made straight. 138. All the information you need to know about the race. Okay, next race is the staff. Let's go ahead and get this one started. Bella Sofa, Dunbar Road, and, oh, and Shoot the Devil. This could be a really interesting race, but we have a lot of horses that are very close with the morning line. So, let's see, we trying to move this over a little bit so we can use a betting window and some of the odds. Okay. Oh, I see. We're now over what we started with. Hooray! Right. Oh, let's see. Who are we going to wager on this time? Let's go with... She dares the devil. Wearing number five. We're going to do the, the show again and we'll, we'll put up another hundred dollars. No, oh, we're good. We're going to she dared the devil to show for a hundred dollars. Okay, everything's locked, ready to go. It's a demo. See, we have a picture of one. There we go. Dirt's rated at 85. And it's nine for a long read. Doesn't seem to do as well as some other horses in the stretch. Hopefully, she already have the leap before she gets there. Take a look at horse nine. And I think we're about ready to get started. And they're up. That looks like Poland's Pearl. And to me, oh, it's now full of so far. No. It's Paula. Paula's still in the lead. Oh no. Bella Sofa wins the race. Oh. And what happened? Oh, she's a devil. We won some money again. Hooray. She's a devil. Ended up coming in third. Which is good enough for us to win some money again. And we picked up $280 on that one. And now we are rolling in the money. 
Philosopher, Prince Reis, and we're now halfway through the race cart, and we actually have some money. Uh, all right, next race up is the Philly Mirror Turf. It's locked, ready to go. Two million dollar purse here. And run the race. And, well, we're on the roll, so we need to wager again. Move off to the side to see. It's another very close race. Loves it. Only you. And the favorite in post pitching three. That sounds like an interesting one there. We got the penny window. We're going to go all out since we actually have some money now. We're going to wager all of our winnings over our initial 5,000. And we're going to go loans only you to win. And we're going to wait for $355. Okay, everything locked, ready to go. Target the trade says. Another turf race. We'll take a look at some of the horses. There's going global. Ours is well, it's only you. Turf is rated 87. Very good closing numbers. Now, one thing that you can do is you can put the main difference between showing the cards here is the card, you cannot run the race while that car is up. But it gives you the nice looking board game <coughs> presentation of the card. And if you do the view horses, these horses stay up. So we can put Manny here and we want to do Love's Only Year, we can go over here. If you are running the race manually, you can have the cards right up and be able to roll the dice and see how the uh, results were calculated. Another feature is you can do all horses and then stack them. Which means that as the race is running, the stack will change. So we'll go ahead and do that for this race. May run a little slower because of the stacking of the cards, but you'll you'll be able to see each card. And it's the same thing if you were doing the manual race, you can stack them and it will automatically show you that who's the next card. So go ahead and start the race. Again we're We're looking at horse three. Loves well, only you and hopefully winning the race and giving us a bunch of money. Regular set, okay, let's go ahead and get the race started. And we're on. And as you see, it's gonna change for every horse. And again, it's two left, horse number five. He's there, he's gonna get two bonus anyway, so we'll let him play out. He has two, horse number eight, he's behind two, so we're good. We'll 
let him go. But where's our horse at? Oh, man. Oh, there we go. I was only you moving up. Oh, we dropped back out of the top four. Oh, and we just blew a whole slew of money. Loves only you. Looks like came in second or third. And he came in third. Oh well. Easy come, easy go. Okay, that's the result after five races. And all we saw the schedule and we can take a quick look and see how the horses are doing. And we see we have our five winners all getting the same amount of money. And we have our top 25s. So far we run 40 of the horses. I think there's 117 in the set. So let's go back to the schedule. And as you see, we left off after running five. We're on race six. At the dirt mile, quick look at the horses here. In turn. The slot is ready to go. <coughs> well, let's see if we can get some of our money back. Who are we gonna... Oh my god, this is a really, really tight race. This might be one that you would shy away from wagering on since there's no real favorites. But what the heck. Let's see. You see we're back to even 5,000. We're not doing much of anything so far. Let's see. Well, let's let's go with post position one. Silver State. And we're going to wait here fifty, but we're going to do across the borders. When you're fifty on the betting ticket. And we'll wait on it now across the board for when placing shows. Turn. <coughs> the race is locked. Let's take a look at our horse. Finish is okay. <coughs> That's a pretty nice card. Take a look at another horse or two. And I think we're ready to get the race on the way. <coughs> That oh so we say so he's second. Oh maybe not a whole bunch back behind the leader CC. Well, looks like a horse one may have sh shown. And he did, so maybe we collected a little money. 
we collected a show win of winning a two hundred dollars. That's a lot of more than I tell up, but we went fifty across the board, fifty, 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 so we won fifty dollars. Okay. Okay, we're done with six races. We're now getting into the uh, more interesting races here. It's the uh, horses for the turf. All ready to go. We have a full card of 10 horses. It'd be pretty tough for our, <coughs> our favorite to win this one to be way out in post position 10. Looks like Brown might be a really good chance since he has the uh, post position 1. Okay, Here we move it down here, in the bedding window, there, okay, so, wow, we're we'll up a lot of hundred dollars. No past performances. Three bets out of eight. So, we're going to try Rome again. We're going to go a hundred dollars and we're going to go across the board. You yeah, could kick it, you can also we'll do uh an exact uh we'll do uh let's do yarber and bone. So so bone and yarber for a hundred dollars. And that's enough for this race. We'll let the wild on the final race. Okay, take a quick look at some horses. It's gone. Yeah, bro. And let's do one thing. See, Brown doesn't have Fourteens. So let's take a look. And see why that's an issue. So I thought we had pictures for all our shocking. Uh, let's take a quick look at uh, Ortiz. I think Ortiz. Wrong. That Ortiz is on the horse today. So let's see. We just maybe we need to tweak the spelling. So it's uh, Iron.
Hmm. Let me do another one. Let me just see if it's because. Not sure why he's not picking up. Okay, I'm not too confident that that's going to do anything. Oh, oh well, get back to the race. Get to the full house, and they're off. Problem is at least in the top three. Boys ten is still training. Doesn't look like he's gonna be a much factor at all. So so much for our. Uh, uh, Ranger there, but it looks like we did. Possibly wins the money with Rome. Well, in fact, he wins the race. The author had a terrible race. And look at that. We did a win place and show across the board and won. Look at all that money. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, so we can have a lot of money now to uh, wager in this final race. There's the horses that will be running the final race. They're all ready. And look. What we can do far as we drink. You know where it is. We're having a heck of a time. You can see this race is very favorite to Essential Quality, Medina Spirit, and Nick Scout. But they're all in the outside lane. They have a problem <laughs> in the race, so let's do a couple different things. You see, we ha actually have some real money. So let's go with the win by Hot Rod Charlie for 200. Place we're gonna do. Central quality for another 200. And coming in third, let's go with outside champ art collector for 100. And then let's, let's just do a super trifecta of. Hmm. 
Well, let's just do six. Eight. Four. And nine. Two hundred. Why efficient? And we're ready to race. Let's go look at some of the adventure quality. In fact, let's just look at all the horses here real quick. That's where the grand foot are we? Oh, mother. We have 85. Tripoli. 85. Express train. 86. Art collector. 86. Vandalone. 87. Hot Rod Charlie. 87. Maxfield. 88. Venture Quality 93, Athena Spirit 93, and Mexico 94. Okay. And I guess we're ready to run the last race on the car. The 10 for long range. Like that, Tripoli out front with Hot Rod Charlie and then Medina. Take a quick look at our collector. He's behind two. Let's, let's go ahead and move our collector and see if we can do a little better. There's only one sideways move. So, we go outside the costume, too. So we can do this, give up a forward space, so we can go sideways. Got about here. And he didn't really gain much, but he still gets the bonus to two, which he was able to use up, so we got a couple extra. And we'll resume spectator mode. Okay, with Triple A and Hot Rod Charlie. Number 10, Nick Skull would really come up and then sit and take on the lead. Followed by Tripoli. And Express has two left. There are horses three. Then to on the home stretch, we're gonna do the manual for him. And do undo. And the home stretch. Go out two sideways, so he's a straight shot. And he picked up the lower arms. In spectator mode. And it looks like next go is going to win the race. Followed by Express Train and Manolo. So it doesn't look like we did really well at all. In fact, we didn't win anything. Oh, there's the results for that race. Let's go in three million. Oh, that wraps up the schedule. We'll refresh this. Next go with it. When? And we raised 65 of the available 117 horses in the set. Let's go up to our betting account. Here's our 
Wager 16. The Classics. Well, we didn't win any money at all. There. Go back. See our account. We did manage to win a little money with $6,505 in our account. Well, that's it from TRG Central. Hopefully you enjoyed the preview of the 2021 set.